I'm a man of somewhat old school. I love watching PBS classic literature. I am totally a 2020 man. I absolutely loved Andy Rooney before he lost his life to cancer and openly I am a trained journalist by nature, by nurture, and by educational opportunities in university. What I see most of the time, what I observe all the time, is illegal aliens ruining our society. What I also observe is an incredible dereliction of parenting in the black community, and what I see in a white impoverished community is a, dire t a desire to lie, steal, and cheat people out of their privacy rights, medical rights, safety rights, technology rights, and, well, authorization rights. What I'm talking about is that yesterday morning someone in a staple store provided information to a lying female dyke officer in an Effie Moran truck. After that moment of time, once again, a second account of mine with a major conglomerate social media company called Twitter was basically set off limits to me. My job in marketing includes this type of technology. My opportunities in life are relieved by the opportunity to talk to people on a political spectrum. Our full-on rights as American citizens is the willingness and the availability and the opportunities to participate in a political community. A political, political community and politics is something that govern our nation, govern our states, and govern most of our cities across America. At the end of the day, every fucking person who works in government does work for the current presidency-elect. Old presidents typically walk away in style and grace and with a handful of money, and they go off to do super speaking talks where they can make their million dollar budgets by working and talking for corporations about their life, about their stories, about things they've done. They also go off and build libraries to themselves, and openly that's what they do. But at the present moment, we have companies like The Hill and others that are producing still stories about a president who didn't make it in the election. Not only did he cause some abatement of the election and that the election was moved away from its normal historic time period in November to sometime in, what was it, December by the time we finally got the chance to vote, but we have people in a community of impoverishment that stole a cord from a homeless man so that he could not vote. That was a felony first that they stole a technology cord and it was a dereliction of duty on their part as American citizens that they took away a man's right to vote. Because as a traveling person, his way to vote is through online connections. We also have a black community and a white community that like to put their hands and pilfer property from people's pockets when they're sleeping. Not only did they change a back out on a cell phone illegally and immorally, but they have continued their illegal and immoral stalking of people like me with security networks across the Midwest of six states. When I communicate that, what happens is that these stupid shits who come from poverty say, oh, let's just do that. I'm going to clean myself, I'm going to put up a, a pair of suit pants and a sport shirt, and I'm going to walk in with somebody else's resume, I'm going to talk in with somebody else's intellectual property, and I'm going to steal from me whatever I can get. These are children and biologically of maybe American nation, maybe not, but openly they're children of Satan. 